Hey guys, it's Shelly. Today I'm going to talk about my back. Um, a few days ago I had to take, I had to stay home from work because I threw my back out and I want to show you guys what I did when my back went out and when you see you're gonna think Shelly. So this is what I did. Okay, so imagine this is my desk at work. My desk is just a little bit higher. It's probably about right here. And so this is what I did. That was it guys. I, I bent over just a little bit to open my desk drawer and my back locked up. So I have talked to other people about this and not just people like in my age group, but even like younger people. I was talking to someone at work who's in his late 20s and he says that the same thing has happened to him. But I'm just wondering, I'm like, why do why does our back go out when we just like pulling on a shirt or something like that? And so I looked it up and it just, you know, standard stuff. As you go older, you know, the wear and tear on your spine, there's less cushion in between our vertebrae. So it, you know, it's just, it can be aggravated uh, easier. But it got me to thinking um, about all of the back stuff that I have in my house because between myself and my husband, it's like if both of our backs aren't hurting, one of our backs is hurting. It's like we take turns. So I'm just going to run through all of the, the, the remedies that, um, that I have for when my back is giving me grief. So the standard first, good old ibuprofen, okay? Then, of course, you have to have your ibuprofen PM to help you sleep because your back is hurting so bad. But then when you've been loading up on ibuprofen all day and you don't want to take ibuprofen PM at night because you've been taking so much ibuprofen, then we've got our Tylenol PM, okay? So you got to have that in the house. Next, we have Icy Hot. I'll do this for all the, like the beauty channels do to show their, their beauty products, okay? Icy Hot for when you want to smell like Walter. Um, if you're not familiar with that commercial, of the girl in the grocery store and uh, the old lady comes up to her and says, oh, you smell like just like my Walter used to. So yes, icy hot. Next on the list, trusty heating pad. This stays on um, our recliner sofa in between my husband and I. We drape it over the couch because we take turns using it. And I've thought about just getting us a his and hers heating pad. That way we can use them at the same time if our backs are hurting at the same time. This is used daily in the Hickman house. Next, back massager. This is great, okay? This really releases the muscle tension. So back massager is always at the ready in the bedroom. Also, I have another massager. This one, I don't know. This one's kind of tricky to use. I actually um, asked that for this for Christmas a couple of years ago. And this is for when I get a lot of pain in my neck and shoulders this is for this is the massager for this and you but this is hard to use you put your arms in it like this and hold it and it massages your back and shoulders but it's so bulky you can't I mean you basically just have to like sit up straight to use it you can't really lean back in it comfortably because it's it's really bulky and thick you can see it's like it's not it's not very comfortable, but in a pinch, it will do. Next, this thingy majigger right here. Um, I never knew what this was called, and I'm looking at just right now for the first time. Back knobber, the back knobber. Okay, so this one's great. Like when you have a pinched nerve in between your shoulder blades, and you just can't get to it, and it just it digs right in there into that pressure point, and it really does help. But so yeah, one of these. This hangs on our lamp in the living room. Home decor. Next, TENS unit. These things are awesome. If you've never seen them before, it just has this little plug that goes into this little unit, and then you put these little electrical stimulators on your muscles, and then you can adjust the, the strength of the stimulation. And yeah, these are great. It has even having this little nifty clip on it that you can just stick in your pocket. So yes, I'd forgotten that I even had this and that I was griping about my back pain 
online the other day and one of my friends was like, oh, I know how you feel. I live with the TENS unit on my, on me all the time. And I was like, oh, I forgot about my TENS unit. And so, yes, I was using this a lot that day I was home from work with my, my messed up, jacked up back. Next on the list, Acupressure Mat. I've not used this very much. Um, I actually got it for my husband. Um, and he's, I don't think he's ever used it. I've used it a couple of times. So the idea is that you lay flat on this on a hard surface. I think it's supposed to work better if you, if you do it while on the floor rather than on the bed. So you get more of the prickliness of the acupressure points. So that, yeah, that's the idea behind that. I thought about using this the other day when I was home, but honestly, I thought, you know, if I lay down on the floor on top of this thing, I'm not going to be able to get back up. I was hurting that bad. But there's also, it has a little neck pillow too. So yeah, if you're having neck issues, but I've only used it a couple of times, so I can't really endorse it because I haven't used it enough to give it a chance. And so yeah, acupressure mat. Inversion table. I myself do not like these. The idea is that they decompress your spine but all of the blood rushing to my head really makes me feel herby. So I don't use the inversion table. I'll be like, oh, no, I'm done. I believe I have now shared all of our back remedies that are in this house. It is way more than I even realized. So yeah, we've spent a lot of money on back stuff. So other things we've tried, yoga. I know I should do yoga. Uh, strengthen my core. I walk on the treadmill. Walking is core strengthening, right? But yeah, I know I need to do yoga and just really strengthen my core because this really bites. When you have to just stay home from work because you messed up your back by bending over to get into your desk drawer to just get a little, you know, Scentsy wax for your classroom Scentsy, that's not right, that's not right. So, I just wanted to share some of the remedies that are in the Hickman home in case any of you suffer from back issues and may benefit from some of those remedies. If you have any for me, I would love to hear them if anything I have not mentioned. Thanks and have a great week guys. Bye.